And now, ladies and gentlemen, the lineup of the roster of the Bucko Badgers. <laughs> Yes, 
to trace it to Mossick, and to Mossick runs his way through. He's finally stopped by Scotty Day in number 35. That's Eddie Gallego. Chris Zavala has the first down. He stopped there with a two-string tackle by. That number 27, we'll get his number second, number 27. That's Junior Nunez. Across the red. Looking for a receiver. He has Ricky to get to just overthrow. Brings up a second and 15. Across the red. He's a baller. He gets outside. And Scotty Day has him by the ankle. Down at the 11-yard line, a pickup of about 14 on the play, and oh, Yeller makes its appearance on the field. Once again, let's see. Face mask against the Greyhound. Now, the Panthers driving. We have 7.24 left in the first quarter. Check it down very low. Dr. Ray, he's looking, he's under pressure, he's still looking, he throws into the end zone and out of the reach, out of bounds of number 21. That's off. Tracy Tomasi gets the call, he drives down to about the one yard line, pick up a five. And to Tomasi, and there we go up the hand, and we have a six. Point is down, the kick is up, and let's see. We have a tie ball game. Tie, tie some more. While there's time out on the field, ladies and gentlemen, we need to remind you that wonderful football talking is talking. Rio Cotherez. Another long side, it bounces, a good bounce, but number 22 brings it down. That's Alan Lynn. The Greyhound, who went some side against the Badgers on the kick, is in extra position on the field, so as expected, the Greyhound declined. That man goes behind Mallory. In the unbalanced line offense, and number one getting the ball is Aaron Arcini. And Arcini is grabbed around the edge, go by. Mallory pitches back to Arsini, and Arsini has got a cruise there. He's stopped by Tracy Tomasi. Two is Jeff Hopkins. Here comes Arsini again. He's got a three shot there. He goes up to the floor. One yard run for Aaron Arsini. And the Greyhound at 5.22, go back on top. 14, out of the hold of Scotty Day. And it's good, so we have a 16 to 8 score. Red 
Aaron Orsini, Orsini gets the pitch, and he fumbles, but he calls. He covers his own fumble, he has a flag on the play. Let's see what old Yeller is all about. Holding against the Greyhound. Ten yards, back to the 19-yard line. So. Okay, Alan. 
Stop by Gonzalez and... Mallory to Arsini. Arsini is tripped up by Shane the Goat. Third down. And two and seven sixteenths of an inch. up to the line, and he throws incomplete to Jeff Hopkins, just a little bit low, and timeout for the Greyhound, Kristen Talley, Sarah Orsini, Mandy Popham, Kelly Mallory, Mallory, I bet she's still the same. Mallory, two. One more to go, and that's Marla Walker. We didn't want to forget you, Marla. We wanted to see what the, the play was for the... Mallory, your senior, two. Adam, Lynn, for a... Back to the 38 yard line to bring up third. Timeout Badgers and leading the cheers for the Badgers are Uni Raisler, Rachel Harris, Carmela Cruz, Shanna Kimbrell, Sally Rodriguez, Mandy Yates. Yard line. We have 143 to go in the first half. The Greyhounds are leading the Badgers 30 to 10. Jane Mallory. You are seeing. He's facing it. He's going to Mallory and Mallory. He's going to the Greyhound into the end zone. That makes it 36 to 10. A little wrinkle to the same play that was run several times. with 135 to go in the first half. Good job, Alex! And the star catcher. I don't know what a star catcher is, but they're Kristen Rogowski, Patricia Lee, Debbie Noah, Deanna Talley, Angel Haney, Kelly Ott, Julie Robertson, Jerry Lynn Sharp, Allison Wyndham, Barbara Walford, Becky Jimenez, we'll get, oh, another onside kick, and they, oh, Timmy Jimenez, Wendy Sharp, and Robin Talley. From their own 35-yard line, the Buckholz Badgers, Marino Cotterez, gives to Luis Zavala, and he makes about a foot on the play. Brought down by Eddie Gallego. Cotterez throws to Resista, and Resista is out to about the 36, 37-yard line. In Greyhound territory, we're called the 37. Pick up a seven yards, makes it third, and a seven yards for the Badgers. Third down Badgers, Luis Zabala, he's looking for a receiver, he throws. And it bounces off the, the Badgers on the Zisca uniform, 37. 
Got the red. Throws long. Here's the zip guy. He has it in. Down to the eight yard line. Time stopped with six seconds to go in the head. Rio Casares. Look for receiver and it's overthrown. And we have three seconds left. Looking for a receiver. He throws and number three, Luis Zapata. Resisca and Resisca. 
Dropped it about the 34 yard line. Off the red. Takes the snap. He's looking for receiver. He throws and he has Montalvo. No. Number 37. Tracy Tomasi takes the pitch and toss the red. And he escapes one man, but he can't get away from number 37. No, 27. That's Junior Nunez. Second down for the Badgers. Tomasic is in motion. And the give is Roman Gonzalez. Picks up four yards down to the 30-yard line. Stay with him, Junior. Third. Montalvo, right up the middle. He runs right into number 35, Eddie Gallego. Off the red, looking for receiver. He finds Gonzalez, and it's incomplete. And the Greyhounds will take over. Five minutes and 18 seconds to go in the third quarter. For Stevie and Alan Lynn. Orsini, Bates, he takes, and he kicks his back to Mary, and... Oh, the Hawkins can't hold on to the jersey, and... Now they have a big, 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 Jeff Hopkins prepares for the kick. It's up. It's good. We have a 44 to 16 ball game with 504 to go in the third quarter. for the, the Greyhounds. Resist is deep. And we get the bounce. And Tomasi has it at the 36-yard line. Marino caught the red. Up the middle goes Tracy Tomasi. A pick up a five to the 40 yard line. Bossa Red face, and he goes long, and there is Roman Gonzalez in for the score, right over the outstretched hand of Scotty Bay. Looked like he had a sure interception. Went to his hand, and Roman. It's good. 44 to 24 in favor of the Swan Greyhound. Red on side of camp. Oh, let's see what happens. It's still going. Can't get it. Can't get it. Let's see what's going on. Looks like Tracy Tomasi comes up with the ball. Well, their arms pointing in all directions, folks. Look at the sight. Sure. Tag is ball on the 22 yard line. Oh, that ball does not bounce up and down. It bounces sideways all the time. From the 22, the Badgers are putting it play. First and 15. Number three is Luis Zabala. The timeout. Watch the signal. Luis Zabala. Down around the 13, 14 yard line. Casa Reyes to Tomasic, and Tomasic is down inside the 10. That would be in first down territory. Casa Reyes to Tomasic, and he 
Down to about the two-yard line, where it's second and goal for the Badgers. Tosser to Tomasic again, and Tomasic in for the score. Up to the hands, and the Badgers cheer as they toss the rest and hold this time, and Roman Gonzalez will attempt the two-point conversion. It's back, it's fumbled, it's up. No good, off to the left. So we have a 44 to 30 ball game in favor of the strong Greyhounds with 235 to go in the third quarter. Number 22 is that full turn of Alan Lynn. Stopped by Roman Ken. Pitch is to Mallory. Mallory looking for a wide open receiver, Arcini. And Arcini is down to the 30 yard line for a first down in the badges into the field. Another yard line. Same formation, spread wide. And Lynn back to Mallory. And Mallory finds another wide open receiver, number 34.
number 27, Junior Junior. Bring him down after a pickup of... You all right, Daniel? Oh. Two in the ball game. Those Greyhounds are 
seven, Shane Mallory comes down with it. At the 31-yard line, and from there, the Greyhound put it in place. He has his running back. Mallory, once again, stopped by Roman Gonzalez, but he's out to the 35-yard line. What a ball player. Lynn back to Mallory. Mallory. Yeah. Running out of the clock and he's taken off up field. Come on, Shine. 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 Another, but Tracy Timothy can't do that about the six, 14 yard line. Kirk Kinson is the center and Shane Mallory the quarterback. Arcini gets the pick. Come on, Aaron. And where's Arcini going? In the end zone. That makes it 78 for the Greyhounds. And here comes Golden Toe, Jeff Hopkins. Rosisco is out for, out of the game for the Badgers. But Scotty Day will hold. It's up and it's good. Makes it 80, 80 points for those Greyhounds. 124 total. If the bag is so true. Name is it? From the 17 yard line. 
Casa Reyes back to Zabala. Zabala to Gonzalez. And Gonzalez is down inside the five to about the three yard line. We want to wish the, the very, very best of success to the strong greyhounds as they continue their journey to their hoped for destination of the state championship of six man football. We hope that you're very successful in that. You have a tremendous looking thing to be ashamed of. You have every right to be proud of what you've accomplished this season. And to both teams, our hats off and our sincerest congratulations to both teams. Toss the red, gives to Montalvo, and Montalvo gets the arms up signal. As we're back to those 30 points, red again. Good night and a God bless you all. 